Hello, Jarrett 16 from My Lego City. So, the very first one we're going to be reviewing is the towing, uh, city towing truck, or city tow truck. Um, this is my first kit in something like nearly eight years, and that's true. I mean, I had a Lego for a very long time, and I'm going back into it, so I'm going to be having a lot more kits coming, right? So, let's start with the colour, the size. Now, Lego City, the first thing you know, they don't have steering, which is good because it just adds more bricks and it costs more. Uh, so, this is, I paid £13 off Amazon, brand new. They had a special offer on for so many days. And when I saw it, I was like, right, i got to buy this. It's got to be my first kit. And I absolutely love it. I mean, it's brilliant. You get a minifig with it, of course, inside. Uh, the wind mirrors as well. I've actually watched loads of reviews and that was the first one I saw where you got the joint part down here, the hinge, and usually the mirrors come from the top above the window. So that was good. I mean, that was something different. Um, it was quite an easy build. I feel like it took me like an hour. I was just taking my time, not rushing it, kept changing songs on the iPod behind me. Um, so obviously you got the crane then at the back of it, the for the towing and that. These two bits go down and under whatever you're towing. Um I have got a lorry here I could just show you. So I actually you don't fit, that's that's new. Uh you can get a slot in the bumper. So that's different, but I'm sure a few other cars I build. I will make sure actually the cars I design and build will have the nice gap underneath. But he's really an heavy tow truck, like for heavy goods, not just a potsy mini on the back there. So I might build a like um, lorry or something for him and have the wheels took off the front of the lorry. And that would be uh, quite nice to go with this in my city. Um, so like I said, it only took a few, I, I would say about an hour to build. I was taking my time, it probably would have been faster. Um, I do like the chassis, the chassis is designed for these Lego City trucks, um, very nice. And it's actually the sa very similar to one of the old Lego City things, uh, City trucks my brother had years ago, the Formula 1 truck where you had a Formula 1 car with it, very similar the chassis, they probably like kept the same. Um, I'm not a fan of stickers, I would prefer if it had like, the Brits coloured with it already, because... Me and stickers just don't get on. I always put them on wrong, and I was actually very lucky to get some of these perfect. I mean, it, they do look good. They really do give the uh, truck its own very customized look, and I do like that. Uh, I like the light bar on the top here as well. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, these are down at the moment. The aerials. I suppose, suppose they should be up or like on a slant. The arm goes up with. This here, if I can spin them around, uh, you just see down there these two red uh, the beams with the oars in, and then obviously you got the axles going down, and it does lift. It's got a bit of uh, friction, not friction. Um, you know it does. It's very uh, stiff and sturdy, so it won't fall out of place, and it goes up pretty easy. Like you see that, you just see the chassis down there as well. Now it goes back down, easy as that. Uh, I just put that to the side like that when it's in the cabinet. And you get, pardon me, sorry about that. Uh, you get a sweeping brush with it, which is pretty cool. I like I like that idea of having that on the side actually. I think that's pretty cool. And then you get like a wrench on this side as well. Um, and you also got this. This is for the, the hook on the end, which... You spin it around and pause it, let's go. So you can tow other stuff without that. You can put that up and like lift the car up, which is pretty good. And it's not a bright yellow or bright red colour, so you know where it is. It's black, so it does really fit in well with the lorry. Like if you look away, you wouldn't even realise it's there. But you do see the red axle there. I think the axles. I do like the horns as well on top. Um, that's a nice design. So, like I said, you can take cab off there's a minifigure now got his little cup of drink which they all have apparently they didn't have when I was building them years ago um, and you got like 
the back here. I'm very surprised a lot of these Lego cities now don't, uh, the vehicles have seats. A lot of them I've noticed while well, I've watched because I ain't got many at the moment. Don't have uh, the seats to sit drive around, which I find a bit weird actually. Um, yeah. But, you know, if they design it like that, they design it like that. And I do like the nose on this. This is what really stands out for me. Because back in Lego day when I I started, I mean, it was one big nose. So that's very nice. And I do like the new sloped lights. But they ain't new, but they are to me. And they, they're they coming in very handy, actually, with some of my designs I've been doing. And the steps. The steps are very nice as well. So, i got to give it... I do give, um, like, a... Uh, 0 to uh, 1 out of 10 then and i got to give this a whopping 9.5 um, 9.5 well yeah 9.5 mainly because I don't see why they don't have seats no more but that's good I mean that's a good resort I have got a few models I would give a lot lower so yeah that's the first review let me know what you think and i got three more coming so keep watching thanks for watching and bye